Okay, so here we are at Brickell Bay Drive. It's just coming up through some of the drains a little bit. Uh, it looks pretty impressive from the road, but from out here to the seawall is very high because it steps up there and then down, then down, and then down the curb. But it's within a few inches of breaching. This is a surprisingly higher than it looked at low tide. I actually was a little scared when I saw the low tide last night that the, the water had left the area. It seemed like a lower low tide than it, uh, than it should have been. Um, see there's garbage there, but this is uh, uh, salt, salt water. So anyway, it is what it is. Uh, like I say, just, you know, not, not really causing any flooding here, but as you see, it's at the threshold. That would be the word of the day. That is actually going into that drain a little bit. But where is it coming from? This is interesting because it's coming from somewhere. Oh, now it's coming back out. Okay, so this is because we're near the more rough water versus Miami Beach, you're actually seeing it come in and out like waves. So it looks like it's going both ways there. But in, in Miami Beach, it's more of a steady, very steady, unless a car drives through. But here, of course, there's a lot of wave action there. Yeah, I'm sure wind seems to have just died down. That bay was rougher earlier, that's for sure.